How's it going, everybody? Uh, this is Nick07 with a uh, video response to a comment that was left on my handbrake video. Uh, I think it was uh, yesterday. It's like 1.20 in the morning right now. I'm still up. So um, the comment that was left, I think I just commented back um, after I figured this out. So sorry to have this comment. Um, this comment right here, uh, 213... Okay, I don't, I don't want to even say that because I can't, I don't understand what it says. Anyways, so this comment right here, this top comment. Um, <clears throat> he says uh, that he downloaded all their VLC and Handbrake. Uh, but how do you use these to rip a DVD? And um, for those who've seen my Handbrake video, I explained clearly enough. I, I said, you know, you just have to use Handbrake to rip it and VLC to play it if you want to play it. But he says he's having another problem. So the problem he says here is that that it says he needs VLC 64-bit to rip DVD uh, using the handbrake 64-bit. Uh, but from what he's found, there is no VLC 64-bit. Or is there? Um, now, there is no VLC 64-bit um, at the website right now. Just uh, There is no VLC 64-bit. There is only just uh, the standard VLC 32-bit. Uh, now, uh, I know most computers, um, my, my Mac is running... 64-bit on most of my applications, um, but it's just not out there. Uh, there's been a couple of bugs with the VLC developers uh, running the 64-bit, uh, so they haven't been able to fix it. So, um, since that can be done, uh, I stumbled across an article. If you guys do want to run 64-bit, uh, I'll leave this in the side comment. Um, it is uh, a blog article uh, by the two, uh, 23X blog. It explains uh, what happens as you can see most people says this version of handbrake is 64-bit VLC found uh, but no but not 64-bit uh, it tells you uh, how you can use a different program to mount the DVD and you can burn with the 64-bit if you wish to do it that way um, because VLC is only 32-bit right now however and I was wondering why I um, was able to burn it and I have I haven't had this problem uh, and I thought I had a 64-bit handbrake, but coincidentally, I do not. So uh, here's my handbrake program. I do have the newest one downloaded. Uh, so in the about, it is the version uh, 0 0.9.4 i386. The i386 right here is, tells me that it's a 32-bit version. You can Google it if you wish, and it tells you it's a 32-bit version. Um, and uh, VL my VLC player, as you can see, I have open right now. Um, and about it also says this is version 1.03 uh, GoldenEye Intel 32-bit. So since I'm running both the 32 Handbrake and the 32 VLC, uh, that's why I can uh, burn the DVDs and watch them or whatever movie I want. So uh, for those who have been having trouble with this, uh, what I would suggest you to do is you can go to the Handbrake website. I'll also leave this in the link in the description. Um, the Handbrake website, and under when you download. Um, you can, if you wish, you can download the 64-bit and you can use this guy's um, blog to help you run it. Um, but since there is no VLC right now, since there is no VLC 64-bit, I would suggest uh, download the 32-bit um, on the handbrake. Download, if you haven't already, download the VLC 32-bit uh, as well. And you should be able to download and also um, you should be able to burn the DVDs and from, the, and from them play them in your VLC player or whatever player you guys like to use. So uh, to the response uh, to the comment uh, left to me, um, yes, there is no v VLC 64-bit. Uh, Hopefully they do come out with one soon. Um, but from for right now, I would suggest download the um, Handbrake 32-bit and the VLC 32-bit. It runs fine. And use that to burn your DVDs. And also, you can also watch them on your computer. And it runs fine. That's what, that's what I use. All right, so this has been Nick07 with just a really quick response video. If you guys have any other questions, uh, leave a comment on my channel or send me a private message or just leave a comment on one of my videos. If you guys want to see a video on a certain thing, also uh, leave that in the comment bar. And uh, please subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.